husband and I often joke that if we greeted each other like our dogs greet us, you know, if humans did that, there would be no divorce. My name is Dr. Emily McLeod. I'm a doctor of chiropractic, certified in animal chiropractic. I initially chose chiropractic a little bit on a whim. I met a chiropractor and she happened to work at the school and just in passing conversation, she handed me a business card and said, if you ever wanna be a chiropractor, you know, come see me at the school. And out of my mouth flew, I've always wanted to be a chiropractor. When I was in grade nine, um, swimming was part of gym class. <laughs> and I was doing the backstroke and I looked back and I thought I had three strokes and I had like half a stroke. So I jammed my head into the side of the pool. So my mom was like, oh yeah, we're gonna go see the chiropractor. He just, you know, adjusted me and he said, okay, you can get up now. And I was like, nope, I don't think I can. And he goes, oh, you're fine, just get up. And he was right. <laughs> I look at these and I just think what powerful tools these are. Have hands, will travel. You know, I'm in a barn today, small animal clinic tomorrow. I was in Africa several months ago with these. My trips to Africa ground me. You know, the most profound trip I took was to Uganda and we went to serve in children's prisons. And that, <laughs> the trip to Uganda changed my life because I was putting my hands on these precious children from ages two to 18 that were imprisoned for all kinds of things, you know? They were imprisoned for stealing and for begging and for panhandling and just for being homeless. I think, you know, we take for granted the freedoms we have here to live and do and work and be and, and our kids are complaining that they don't have the latest iPhone and I'm putting my hands on a two-year-old that gets one meal every other day provided by the prison. So that trip profoundly changed my life. I consistently go back to Africa because it consistently grounds me and it reminds me that I can wait in line at a grocery store for three extra minutes without becoming impatient. So here I am taking care of pets that have more clothes and better food than some people in Africa do. And yet it's very clear to me that I do what I do here so I can fund what I do over there. Probably the, the one thing I would say to, to doctors coming out, to chiropractors that are new, I would say work to achieve that hard to find work-life balance so that you can do what you love to do for years and years and years to come. The good chiropractors, I don't think they ever retire, right? They just see less people or dogs.